famous story. A farmer, that he got a letter from a lawyer in the big city that there's an inheritance waiting for him, a large inheritance. So he shared the great news with his friends and he said goodbye to them, I'm traveling into the city. And he gets his horse and buggy and his friend tells him, you're a rich man, what are you going with a horse and buggy for? Why don't you just take the train? He says, a train? I never was on a train. So he says, no, there's always the first time. Take a train. He goes to buy a ticket in the post office for the a train ticket. And the man behind the counter asks him, so what would you like, a third class ticket or a second class ticket? So he says, what's the difference? He says that the second class ticket, you know, there's upholstered seats, it's a little more roomy. So he asks him, what's a first class ticket? So the man tells him a first class ticket, that's for the special people, you get your own cabin and you travel, travel in luxury. But a ticket's expensive, he says, yeah, I want to buy the first class ticket. Okay, he buys the ticket, a couple of days later, goes to the train station, and he's first time, he doesn't know where to go, he just follows the crowd, follows the crowd into the train, pushes, finds himself a seat, sits down. After a short while, he falls asleep. And all of a sudden, he feels a shove from the conductor. And the conductor is telling him, hey, ticket, ticket. So he says, yeah, yeah, I have a ticket. I have a first class ticket. And all the passengers burst out laughing. So he says, no, no, don't laugh. And he takes out of his pocket a first class ticket. And the conductor looks at him, he says, what are you doing here? Why aren't you in first class? So he says, I just followed the crowd, I went with everyone else. So he says, you're not everyone else, you're special. Chavz Chaim Heritage gave out a book now, it's called Positive Vision. It's on Shmir Sinayim. So they bring this mushal. And they bring it for Bishmir Sinayim. We all have to know we're not just anyone else. We're special. We're princes. Let's not degrade our status. If we look where we shouldn't, if we get Nishpa, the Hashpa of the Goyish Agas, if they contaminate our eyes with their terrible things, with the terrible Ashkafas, then we're not princes. We have to realize we're first class people. We're special. We're not everyone else. Each and every one of us, every Eid. I saw a story from the Satmar Rebbe. The Satmar Rebbe, he had some Hasidim that came into Williamsburg from the east side. So one time they were standing after the Tish and they were schmoozing and the Satmar Rebbe passed by and he asked them, what's going on? What are, you, what are you talking about? So they said, we're schmoozing that it says that when a, a people travel to a Rebbe, so whenever you travel, all the ways, the highways, the paths, the roads, it's going to be put on your skill on the side of the mitzvahs and that's going to help weigh down the mitzvah side. So they said to the Satm Rebbe, we came from the east side, we came on the Williamsburg Bridge, you know, it's very heavy. The Williamsburg Bridge is a, it's a great structure, it's a lot of metal and it's a lot, there are trains on it with cars, everything's going to be put on our scale. So the Satm Rebbe said, yeah, that's all fine and dandy. Abhivishver is a Riya Asura. How heavy is it? when there was no Shmir Sinayim, if you looked at something that you weren't supposed to on the way. Vi Shver is a Riya Asura. That weighs down. How heavy is such a Riya? But let's think of the other side. How heavy Latoiva is when we are misgabber, when we strengthen ourselves not to look at something, even one time when we withstand the temptation, how what a nachas ruach Hashem has from us. How heavy is it on the mitzvah side, that sur meira, that shmir isenayim, that guarding your eyes. Let's remember, we are princes, we are special. 
We are first class passengers. We're just not anybody. We are special. Thank you for listening to the Guard Your Eyes Daily Chizuk Broadcast. Pass them on to your friends and help spread Kedusha in the world.